Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rulin' about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Smoke Tales. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. Police say potential suspect fired at group with shotgun. Later shot in the face on Atlantic Boulevard. A man in the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says fired into a crowd of three people early morning Sunday was shot in the face and is recovering. Around 3 a.m., officers responded to 1000 Atlantic Boulevard. A man in his 40s was taken to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, suffering a gunshot to the face. The suspect and a group of three people were in a dispute, and the suspect discharged the shotgun at the group. The agency said one person in the group fired at the suspect in an act of self-defense. The investigation is ongoing. Sound like the investigation over to me. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting on Atlantic Boulevard near 295. We're told the shooting happened overnight. Atia Collins is on your side live at the scene. Good morning, Atia. Uh, we understand that JSO just wrapped up their briefing a few minutes ago. What more can you tell us about the shooting? Good morning, Rich. That's right. We just spoke with detectives who told us that they arrived here to this shopping plaza off Atlantic Be Boulevard around 3 a.m. this morning. They say when they arrived, they found a man that had been shot in the face. Now, that man was transported to the hospital. His injuries considered non life threatening. But at this time, this is what police believe led up to the shooting. They say that this man was in an argument with a group of individuals that they man actually shot at the group of individuals. The group of individuals returned fire, striking the man, and that is how the man got injured. And now you can see right behind me, there was a car that was damaged during this shooting. You can see it there. Police say that everyone involved, including the man who was shot and the group of individuals, are cooperating with police, and they believe they have everybody detained that is involved in this incident. Take a listen to what police had to say just moments ago. Uh, they were in a parking lot. It seems that there was a, uh, a restaurant that was open that they were all leaving from. Unknown if the suspect was at that restaurant too. The actual incident occurred in the parking lot. So we're still trying to determine all those facts. And again, police believe that they have everyone who was involved um, detained or working with police. They say everyone is being cooperative at this time, and they believe there is no greater threat to the surrounding area. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News, on your side. Yeah, man. So you see how they getting down out there in Jacksonville, Florida, my state. You know how we do. This man shot at everybody with his shotgun. He had to go and get that shotgun. Y'all let him come back walk up on y'all with a whole shotgun before y'all had to shoot back but lucky somebody was strapped out there in the crowd had it on them was able to return fire shot him right in the face should have took his whole face off man it's your boy smoke tails man until next time you never catch me without mine without mine 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 you never catch me without mine